don't know what kind of day this was today. Well, I do know what kind of day it was today. Today was one of the most triggering days I've had in quite a minute, quite a while. But um, I had about five opportunities for me to step out of character and to get very impatient, frustrated, but for some reason, I knew that they were all opportunities for me to practice patience because the levels that we are rising to, we got to grow up in our, uh, personality in the spirit, the personality of the spirit. We got to become more Christ-like if we are Christian, or we just have to be more adult in the things of the spirit. And patience is one of the most important things. You know, it's one of those foundational things, love, patience, joy, peace. These are basic foundations that you have to grow up in. Our faith, you know, taking leaps of faith, steps of faith. We have to grow up and know how to trust the Father, the Creator, the universe, the Most High, angels, ancestors, guides, all of the highest, however you want to call it. But I don't do readings on myself. And I'm just curious to see what the father want to tell us in the cards regarding a checkup or checking in or something. Because again, today was a very triggering day. And let's just see what the most high, the universe, God, the father have to say to us because I'm curious. I am so curious to see what's going on because I know if I am being, all of us are in classes. We don't know what grade level, what subject we're studying and what, whatever. But again, it's time for us to grow up and patience. I, I, I thank God that I really saw the spirit of peace keeping me balanced because I could have tilted those scales to a whole nother level but God even with me staying balanced everything worked out so good you just saw the father in in it all it worked out better than I thought things would be but um I'm just going to do a quick reading on where we are in the spirit what the father the creator wants to say to us and let's go from there Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Speak to us. Let us know what's going on. How just just speak, Father. Speak. Speak. And we hear. You. We hear you. We hear you. We hear you. Thank you. But I hope everybody is, is holding on, keeping the faith, and expecting your blessing. Um, you know, expecting the best. Putting away things that's not of service for our good. I haven't had anything to drink. <laughs> Even though I drink my hard seltzer water. I haven't had anything to drink in about a month because I know that, again, we got to put, it's time to elevate. It was okay during this season, but God is taking us to a whole new season. It's time to put certain things to the side if you want to keep growing, keep elevating, keep this circle, this wheel turning. <laughs> and my vapes, you know, I do vapes. It's like I got about, I hope at least 
10 more pulls. Because <laughs> after those 10 pulls, I know God is saying it's time to put it down, Wanda. You know, but um, I have no problem because anything that takes control of us, then it's time to let it go. And maybe God sees something that I don't see. It's time to let it go. Either it may come it beginning to take control or something, but I follow my spirit and keep it going from there. Okay, let's do two more cards. I have two so far. Let's do two more. But yes. Ooh. Let's see how many that was. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Let's just do it that. We got seven cards, seven cards down. Let me make sure no more on the floor here. Okay. So we have seven cards. And this is from Angel Tarot. Okay. All right. And one more thing I want to do is turn the light on so I can see. Okay, let's see. Um, okay, we have um, five of swords. I need this sitting down somewhere. Wow. Five of swords. Two of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, okay, Five of Swords, which says Loss, I don't know if you can see that, and Two of Pentacles, which says Juggling, Nine of Cups, says Blessing, Eight of Swords, Restriction. Departure, Eight of Cups. Ooh. Angel of Happiness, The Sun. And seven of swords, theft. I don't know if some came out upright or upside down or whatever, reverse or whatever, but I'm going to go ahead and read them all upright. And we can, um, dog, oh, my coffee done got, we can, um, I'll just keep them upright and let the spirit lead as it will. Okay, so we have five of swords, which is loss, two of pentacles, juggling, and nine of cups, blessings. Let me put this in an order. Departure. Okay. Juggling, departure, loss, okay, and the sun, theft, and restriction. Now, we have a lot of, a lot of cards here that sounds like they're really triggering times, really hard lessons school lessons father i don't know i'm gonna take this through how my day went i'm gonna go from my spirit on what this seems to me okay we have juggling departure loss theft restriction okay a lot of us if we're juggling with the thought of releasing what God is asking us to let go, we shouldn't juggle with the, with the, um, with whatever God is telling us to do. 
it should get past the juggling. We have to get to the point to where we can trust what the father is telling us to do. It shouldn't be in a position of juggling all the time. We're human. It happens, but grow up. It's time for us to grow up, stop the juggling because God only wants the best for us. So, for example, my drinking and the vapors, I don't want to juggle that. I've been through the days where I had my seasons of juggling those situations, juggling whether I should be with this man or leave this man, juggling that, juggling if I should buy this or, or spend money on this or get another car, just juggling, juggling my thoughts juggling if if this you know just juggling is we have to start growing up in the spirit to where we're not juggling the request the father is giving us and we're juggling with what's being told us to do in our heart we have to get past the point of not juggling and we have departure so again it's time to depart from what we hold on so tight to that we don't want to let go we juggle with the idea of letting it go when we go back you know we, we i think we all know what i'm trying to say regarding Everybody has something at one point of time we juggle with departing from it. And God is asking us to grow up and get to a place where when our spirits speak, when our spirit says move, we move. When I move, you move. You know, God wants a, a harmonious balance between ourselves and the spirit so we can move and operate as one unit not fighting and tug of warring and 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 uh debating yes we go through those times that's human you know we can read come together and reason with god and ask why find out what he but sometimes you may not get an answer but he knows he the universe god knows our heart our feelings our our emotions so it's no problem in 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 coming to god asking father why or father give me strength to leave whatever alone if you're finding yourself juggling it's time to go to the father to the universe to the ancestors to the angels to whoever you serve as your higher power and get that power that strength that 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 whatever we need to make this move to the next level so loss five of swords loss we're not going to lose anything that we depart from when we're following our spirit it may look you may perceive it you may uh feel like it's a loss but when we're giving something up for the creator for god the universe angels whatever there is no loss it's for a cause for a reason for our good so we have to get to the point where we don't see us letting go something that we know in our heart is saying depart from it um stop juggling with this make a move make action we have to get that perception that we lost or losing or gonna lose get that away from your thoughts and follow your heart and and move towards the spirit there is no loss it will not be a loss you may feel like it you may think it but stop the juggling make the action depart from whatever is asked of you to let it go because the father see things ahead farther than we do and sometimes you 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 should get to the point where you will see things afar off as well before long before it gets to you you should be able to see it 
and then theft. Seven of swords. So no, again, don't feel like you're being that, that it's being taken away from you. Like it's robbing you, stealing from you. You, you're not losing anything you're gaining you know that's why we have to gain a whole different mindset regarding this spiritual journey what's what looks like we may be going back in the spirit you're going far ahead what looks like you may be having lack in the spirit you are rich you know, we are rich. We, we, the father owns everything. And that means so do we. So these are the journeys, the levels that we have to expand our, 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 uh, knowledge of what this spiritual journey and the gifts that we have. We have to realize that there is no loss. There is no lack. Not when we're following the spirit of the most high of the creator of the universe restriction theft okay i already said theft restriction eight of swords so like i said you may feel like you're being restricted because of the things that you're letting go I can't do this no more. I can't. We have to stop looking at it as a, as something that we're going to be deprived of or um, lacking and, and, and sorry we did it. I no, you, we can't have that perspective about what God is doing when we're following our heart. We have to always keep a higher expectation of what's happening other than what we see and what we feel and what we think. So there are no restrictions. God is not restricting anything from us. Whom God set free is free indeed. So if you feel like there are restrictions, then question your your foundation of your belief if you're feeling restricted as a being a spiritual being god don't give us restrictions you could be in a prison but if you have that right spiritual connection right relationship you no bars around you can make that restriction you may be restricted on the outer natural realm but in your spirit you should never feel restricted in your spirit your spiritual journey connection with the universe father god almighty most high is free <laughs> free i'm sitting here in icicles feel like but in my spirit, I am free. I, I have no phone service. I told, I'm totally off the grid. But I'm free. So it's, it's, it's the mindset. You, you, if you see it that way, think it that way, then that's what you're going to be feeling and bringing about in your life. So we have to, you know, on our spiritual journey, we have to grow up and always know that that um, whatever God is calling us away from or calling us to, it's for our good. It's not to uh, restrict us or make us feel like we're losing. It's not for that. Because you can, it can be in the natural look like that. And we are human. We may feel that. But you got to change that mindset and know that, hey, my, what my father doing, this is for my good. And all things work together for good. Because I, I, to give you an example of today, and I'm, I don't want to be long. 
I mean, not just today, but period. It's like money being spent out, being given, given, given. And, and I've learned through Reverend Ike that, you know, he taught me this principle regarding the terminology. I don't use the word spend anymore. I use the word circulate. When I sp talk about money going out, paying this bill, paying that bill, doing this and doing that. I don't look at it as spending. No, baby, that money going to work is going to do what it's going to do. And it's coming back in the circulation and, and it's going to bring that and much more. So I had to check myself today and make sure I had the mindset, all this money, money, money. But my mindset was my money is working and, 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 and God is overflowing. I look at what I'm paying out to is our seeds and those seeds will grow and multiply and rapidly. It's not no year waiting this out. No, what going out is coming back speedily and abundantly overflowing. They're chasing me down, running me over. So that's the mindset I have when I pay this bill, pay that bill, pay for that repair, pay for the, and I know that there is no good thing that I lack, period. That's the mindset. Get your promises of God in order because the time will come when, when we have to know what our father is capable of. So let God teach us in these minor issues so that when other issues come, we would have practiced what God can do in our life. Practice patience, practice faith, practice love. And the more we allow the spirit to work within us, we'll find ourselves flowing in the spirit. So if we have the right mindset to let the father do his work within us and let us cooperate with the correct mindset of this is for our good and good is coming out of it. Best, better and best is coming out of it. Abundance overflow is coming out of it. Blessings is coming out of it. What's that nine of cups? Blessings. Blessings is coming out of it. And angel of happiness, the sun. Like I said, whom God has set free is free indeed. Happiness and joy is accessible even in spite of situations. Let us practice to have the faith and patience. So we're, that, that me saying practicing is like going people going to the gym, lifting weights to build their muscles. Build your muscles of the fruit of the spirit. Do the work of the spirit. And I'm going to get one more card. Um, let's see. From the Bible names in the Bible that God gave me, inspired me to give. I don't know what's going on. But um, let's see if the Father want to close with, let's just say one, two, or three more cards. I don't know. To confirm with what's been said, Father. What more do you need to say? I thank you, Father. I thank you. Thank you for confirming to us to let patience have his perfect work. Work the gifts of the Spirit, the, the fruit of the Spirit. Love, joy, peace, kindness, meekness, self-control. Practice, work those, work it, do the work. Thank you, Father. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If none fall, I'll pull from the top. 24 minutes. Okay.
Okay. I'm going to pull, um, I guess I'm going to just do the first two. That was too many that fell, but I'll do the top two. Thank you, Father. Okay, the first, the two that came off the top is waterfall, guide, draw out, groan, sigh, and route. So, so, um, what I feel like God can confirm from this is let the spirit guide us in our, you know, in our spiritual journey and let him draw out the things that we are juggling with. Let him draw out the, the situations, the, the, the habits, the whatever is stopping us from elevating to the next level. Let him, let him guide and draw out what is stopping us. And, and we'll notice there will be a waterfall of blessings in our life. There will be a waterfall of blessings in our life when we take a different route and and let it go stop the juggling and let it go and then we have lamp intuition wisdom intellect manifestation illumination and again that goes right with the closing of the greeting nine of clubs blessing angel of happiness the sun so intuition wisdom intellect manifestation and illumination and lamp so when we allow god to light up those areas in our lives and to take you know let us not juggle with letting it go there's nothing but blessings and um happiness and wisdom manifestation the bible say that the word of god is a lamp unto a feet our feet and a light unto our path so let the lamp let the light let our intuition from within guide us and lead us on our route on our journey on our walk with the father and he will give us the wisdom. He will give us the intuition of what to do so we could be happy and we could have blessings. And that's truly what we all seek, blessings and happiness. So I thank you, Father, for speaking and giving us encouragement, motivation. And I pray those that have ears to hear, let them hear and just give us the will to do your will father help us to be easy at seeing the right through the right eye seeing through the eye of your spirit of your 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 holy spirit father help us to have the the mind of Christ to help us to have the mind of the Father of the Spirit renewed in our minds. Let our minds be renewed to the ways of you, Father. Again, I'm not a Christian, but I withhold it all as long as it's leading everybody to a higher life in the Spirit of the spirit of the highest spirit so i thank you and this has been a triggering day but i thank you father if we keep doing what we're doing there is happiness and blessings wisdom intuition and light <laughs> all right have a blessed day